Yo guys, I tried to get the last mark on the last, what means the last quest to get Godhead as an item. Normally I would have used another run in this video where I got pretty good stuff, but died in the death animation of Mother. Had a small mental meltdown over it, because I hate to do the corpse run with the lost. But fine, let's just do it again. Just let you know what this video is going to be about. Have fun. Starting the run with C-section. Without, I probably would just lose again. For everyone who doesn't know, the item shoots some, let's call it, little babies. Or else I probably would get banned. It is the run free item because of the broken damage over time they do, and the high scaling in the late game. Also, they automatically target the enemy, what makes it easy to aim. The shop was kind of trash. The player can be good if I could get a devil deal, but I can't, so... It doesn't matter. Monstro just basically gets one shotted. Like I said, C section is disgusting. Especially as a first floor item, it's completely free. You just shoot some babies and watch the boss die. It's incredible safe in the first floors and probably just carries the whole run. I even get a library on the second floor. And Eternal D6 doesn't even troll me and just steals one book from me. Plus, giving me Satanic Bible. Not gonna lie, this run is already just insane. I, I still only use it for the first floor and take Book of Shadows with me because, let's be honest, invincibility is necessary to the last. Also, I hope for 4.5 volt in the future, so I'm unkillable for every boss. I still would have loved to take the tank Bible with me to get even more devil deal items, but yeah. Invincibility is just too broken and important on the last. 20 seconds is still a long time though, so clearing the dangerous rooms is way safer, especially for such a dumb person like me. Then he even dies in the death animation of the boss they wanted to do. Like, who the hell would die in a death animation and just lose the whole run and their own mentality? In the item room I only get increased knockback. I don't know if C-section even has knockback at all, but at least the increased fire rate is nice, so... Yeah, I'm okay with it. The shop otherwise is trash as always. In front of the boss door, just do... Yeah... <laughs> One-shotting the boss as always without even getting damage. I don't even have to try my best due to the invincibility. I don't even have to think of dodging. False PhD isn't what I really wanted, but... I would take it. The Valil otherwise gives me Twisted Pear. What is probably even better than a Brimstone or Mom's Knife. Just tripling the amount of babies is insane and let's be honest, like, I already did amazing damage, but now with just tripling the babies I shoot, like, nobody can stop me. I only basically have two items and I'm already running through the floors, like, it isn't even close to dying. Like, at this point, not even a boss rush is scary anymore. Like, I can do whatever I want. I will just probably survive. Going with the invisible item in the gold room was a complete success. Because the setups on C-section feel so incredible good. Like, I thought the mirror effect is completely trash. But, to be honest, it's broken. I shoot so many babies. Even the shop is generous to me. Better cards with tired cloth? Let's go! Birth fight on the lost? I'm not going to say no. And Steam is in the same shop. There is only 4.5 volt left. And this run has incredible luck. Like, they at least want to give me something after 43 tries of literary desperation and sadness and sorrow. My total hate boss in the early cops run also doesn't stand a chance, but to be honest, all credits go to invincibility, else it still would be too scary. Boss item just makes me a bit faster. Perfection also wasn't really amazing, so another disappointment in my life, but yeah, everything else is good, so why, why? Why should I have a problem? Don't forget the knife piece though, else I can't get the cops. Wouldn't be the first time this happens to me, so... Yeah, uh, it would be a pretty, pretty bad ending for that. So I decided to defeat the boss a second time because it makes so much fun. Just to get three bombs in the end. Yay, totally was worth it. 
Normally I would have wanted to talk about my disappearance of the last monks in this video. The time where I didn't upload at all, you know? Just to address somewhere the normal stuff like why the name changed to A-Rock? Why the sudden break? The usual welcome back video stuff, you know? A video I actually wanted to do because I thought of a different video style first, but now I'm just going with a little bit of achievement hunt and talking. So now after speedrun the welcome back video for the free out of 650 subscribers or I don't know where I actually stopped making videos anymore that are watching this video. I also need to die to this trash ghost just spawned behind you and I really hate him. I died so many times against them, getting these other goosebumps from them. Nearly losing a nearly perfect run, what would have made me pretty sad. But for my pain, they at least donate a free devil deal that gives me lusty blood. What isn't that amazing, but I'll take it. It's at least free. The gold room has basically nothing. What is really sad, but I don't know. I'm used to it. And these hard host, a name I by the way never knew, just don't want to die. Actually, the babies just perma-focus them and my shot speed isn't fast enough to kill them when they are targetable. They even nearly kill me. These are the real enemies of the run, let's be honest. The boss though isn't a problem, just one-shotting him as usual. The loss the character I'm playing in this video is actually kind of funny to play when it's not against Mother, the run I'm doing right now and actually hate. I learned to hate him in this run though and I'm really hyped to play the Tainted Lost. Having only one hit per run sounds quite interesting and not frustrating at all, but yeah, um, I have to do it in the future I guess. For the information, again, this is also the last run I have to do to get the beloved godhead so the stakes are high, at least for me. Without an item that makes you invincible you kind of can surrender to the run. You can't defeat the major bosses without items that protect you from the masses of tears of the end bosses. Runes aren't that rare, but basically every boss takes more than 20 seconds so... Book of Shadows is probably a thing you need. I really do hate the lost and after 43 runs, it basically burned a huge part of my weekend. I just have to accomplish a successful run I couldn't sleep else. I am frustrated and I hope that I can finally end it with this run. Like, I really don't care about Godhead as an item. It is broken and cool, but I think it is overall a bit... Yeah, I know. Hot take. Overrated. Not worth if you are not trying to get everything at least. So... You also could just play Tainted Lilith as an example instead and getting good items for less effort. And the gold room on the next floor gives me a magnetizing tier sword. It's pretty good, but the shop gives me a 4.5 volt battery, so basically every boss is free now. Like, I, I wanted this item and I got the item. I can't die anymore. It's, 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 this, this is the safest run I, I have ever played in my whole life. Getting another knife piece and, well, running away from the ghost of my mom what is kind of free due to the fly that the lost has, what is actually pretty generous, like, <laughs> I hate the lost, but this is actually good. <laughs> Defeating the boss of this floor isn't a problem as well, collecting another trash item and keep moving forward until my enemies are destroyed. We're getting greeted by the gold room on the next floor and with fire might. And while editing this video, I see the explosion can hurt Isaac in the description. <clears throat> Something I knew about I it, it escalated a bit and probably this weren't the smartest pick for the run at all at least it is good content I guess but you will see it later what happens with this item. It completely escalates. I also get another treasure room with basically nothing in it and in a random chest is that cat and an item I thought is necessary and just a cool gift for safety, but I don't want to spoil you. These nine lives getting shredded. And I'm so happy that this, that, that, that this run just said, hey, take nine lives for for nothing. <laughs> the boss of the floor, by the way, is actually not that weird mask. But I'm glad because I think that the mask is my personal nemesis. So I just one shot the boss, what I probably also had done with the mask, to be fair. And collecting the screw to get even faster babies. And look, what's in the devil deal? And it's trash. Never mind, it gave me the chaos card, it isn't trash at all. Just guarantees me the mother kill in the end if I, I don't know, somehow die. On the next floor, I realized that my host head problem is gone by just destroying that little one. Moving forward to mom without even taking the gold room. Let's just see it as a flex and not that I just totally forgot that this is the mom floor, so... Yeah, 
It's it's probably my own incompetence, but that's that's just ignore that. Killing mom without the problem just to kill myself in the end, and I'm very happy that I got Death Cat because this is going to be a big problem of this run. Else I would probably never create this video due to the complete mental breakdown I would have because of that. I don't want to lose again. I would still love to take the boss rush for Parasite, what kind of were a mistake. Not because of the boss rush, I were invincible the whole time, so I probably wouldn't even have died if, I don't know, three mom's heart would spawn. But Parasite does fun stuff and explodes everywhere, like the babies get exploded again and explode. Clearing the last two waves to get in the end scattered bombs. What well, wasn't worth it at all, but I don't know, better than dying, I guess. So I can move on to kill the heart of my mother. I were a bit scared because I didn't start with invincibility, but it was a fast and safe fight, so nothing happened at all. In Corp, I even go for the arena, just for the rainbow realm that was a mistake. And the babies get insane and kill me in the end. The movement was wild though, and pretty... I don't know, entertaining. So they kill me again, and I realize that the run is not defeating the boss, but actually coming to the boss. Luckily, I'm at least allowed to fight against the boss invincible, what grants me in the end even a damage up. I still killed myself in the end again, only 4 lives left, and the boss is on the same floor, so here yeah, it's kind of close if I even survive till I arrive to kill mother. And I died again against Hush. The combination of everything explodes and floats around me is kind of scary when you are not invincible. <laughs> but in the end I found the hole to mother and we're allowed to fight against her and yeah, just, I just shred her, getting infinite uses to stay invincible. The explosions even take mother hostage. She, she barely moves. And so I made it and defeated mother. Finally, after 43 tries. He talk, I'm happy. I, I'm just happy that's over, that I never have to do this run as the lost again. I, I just finally have got it at least. I didn't really need the item, but I wanted it, so yeah, yeah new achievement, woo. See you in the next video. Don't forget to like and subscribe for more, and yeah, this was everything for me. Hopefully you liked the video. Good night.